Hello everyone and thanks for watching my channel. My name is Mel and I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. I am an elite in the business as a fashionista and I'm going to get ready to tell you guys a tip that I think it will be great for you trying to rank to director in your first 30 days in the business, okay? So one of the great things about Paparazzi is that there are three ways that you can make money in this business, one of which is through direct sales, another is through your website, but the other, the last of the three, is going to be through sharing the business opportunity, okay? That one is through team building and recruiting in this business. So in your first 30 days, you want to set your goal to trying to hit director. Director means that you have three personally sponsored consultants under you in the business. And what that basically means is that you are out here and you are sharing the joy of paparazzi. You are wearing the jewelry, you are selling the jewelry, and you are telling people about how amazing this business is. So what I want to challenge everyone to do is, if you have a pen and a paper, take down a couple of notes because this may help you. All right. So tip number one is going to be, again, you want to be the brand. So as you are wearing your jewelry every single day, people are going to see you wearing it. So as they compliment you on your jewelry or as you put it on your social media and your profiles on your page, people are going to see like, hey, she's really serious about this paparazzi thing. We can see her wearing it. So as you're wearing the jewelry, you want to make sure that when people compliment you on your jewelry and your accessories, you're sharing the business with them. You're telling them about the fact that like, for instance, if I have this necklace and this ring, I may say, how much do you think this necklace costs? And then they may say, oh, it costs $15. It costs $100, whatever they say. You say, can you believe this necklace is $5? I can be a part of a company that sells affordable accessories that are this cute. Can you believe it? So again, you want to make sure that anytime you get an opportunity, if anybody compliments you or your business comes up, you are sharing the fact that people can join if they're interested. So you can say, I'm so glad that I joined this business. If you're ever interested, you should consider joining me too. This would be a great way for you to make some money or, you know, you kind of make it personal to that person. So you may say, I know that you recently graduated from, you know, from school. This may be a way that you can make some money if you have some student loans or if you just want to make some extra cash in, in your pocket or whatever it is that you know about that person. You may say, oh, I know that you're a mom and I know kids' expenses are super crazy. So if this is something that you could see yourself doing, you know, let me know. This would be an awesome experience. So again, just kind of making sure that you're sharing that opportunity. You are the brand and you are sharing with others others what you love about paparazzi and how it's changing your life the second tip that i want to give you on how to rank in 30 days is on every time you go live every time you host a party every time you do a vending event you want to share the opportunity of paparazzi so for instance when i go live i always say if you want to do what I'm doing, if you're watching me sell my jewelry and you think you could do it too, I'm right at home, you know, right from the comfort of my phone and uh, my cell phone in my home. If you want to do this like me, message me and let me know. I'd love to tell you more about paparazzi. Again, that is a way for you to share the business. You're sharing it just casually in your lives and you are basically, you know, just kind of putting it out there every time you go live because you never know who's watching and who may need this business and it could be a blessing to them. So again, Make sure that you're sharing as often as you can and when you can. So for instance, too, when you're having vending events and hosting um, parties, put a little note at the front of the table that just says, if you want to know more about how you can make money doing paparazzi like me, let me know. You know, any kind of note, you know, you could kind of do just to kind of let people know, hey, if you want to know more about this, come and ask me about it. Another way to do that is a third way is sometimes people want to put it on their clothing. They want to put it on their shirt, their bag. Like if you have in your bling bag, a little note card there that says, ask me me about my five dollar bling business or ask me about how you can make money selling paparazzi or whatever sometimes people may put it on their hat you know they may get like a little logo for their car wherever you want to put it where you don't necessarily have to say it but if people see it and it's a conversation point that might be a great way for you to get the word out about your business and the fourth way that i think that we could talk about is you actually going out and strategically talking to people about this business so again you can write your dream team list of about 10 people that you would just really love to work this business with and you give them a call you shoot them a text message and you basically share with them why you want them to be a part of this business with you so you don't want this to be spammy you don't want to send them a link to an email I meant to your website you don't want to say like hey you should come join my team you know no 
no, 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 okay? We don't wanna do that because none of us like to feel spam. None of us like to feel that we're getting like cold messages from people. What you wanna do is speak to people from the heart. You want people to feel your heart in the message where you can say to them, hey, so-and-so, I was thinking about you and about um, you joining paparazzi with me. Have you ever thought about it? I think you would be great because of X, Y, and Z. Let me know your thoughts. Something simple and casual is going to go across a lot better with the person than if you just say, hey, come join my team, come do paparazzi. That's not going to work, okay? So again, you want to make it personal to that person and share specific reasons why you think they genuinely would be great with the business. And you also share with them and say, I really would just love to do this business with you. Now, the final thing that I want to share, it's not necessarily a point, but it's just something to keep in mind. No's, getting no's from people is a part of the process. Please do not go into trying to recruit and to sign business partners with the mindset that everybody that you ask is going to tell you yes right away. It does not work like that, okay? So for me, I would say if you're venturing to try to rank within the, 30, the first 30 days and to sign business partners, your best bet is to have in your mind that you're going to have to talk to at least 30 people before you can get your three, okay? Because for every 10 people, there may be one who's really interested in what you have to say, okay? So again, have in your mind that you're gonna talk to at least 30 people in this first 30 days that you're in this business and then make it a habit. Every month, try to talk to another 30 people. And I know that kind of sounds a bit like a stretch for some because they're like, I'm so shy or I don't know 30 people or what have you. But the more you're hosting parties, the more you're going live, the more you're doing those events, also, another suggestion is join some Facebook groups or social media groups where you can kind of connect with others. And um, that doesn't even have to be about jewelry. You can join, if you're a mother, you can join a mom's group. If you like to cook, you can join cooking groups. You can join any kind of group that you feel like um, aligns with your personality or your interests and start just connecting with people. Trust me, when people, when you meet new people online, you don't have to say anything about your business. They're going to come to your page and check you out. They're going to try to figure out like, who is this girl trying to add me on here or messaging me? Or who is this lovely lady who's connecting with me about cooking recipes? And they're going to want to look at your page and see what you're about. And when they go to your page, they are going to see your business. They're going to see that you are a boss, that you are beautiful, that you are rocking your accessories, that you are sharing what paparazzi is doing for you. So again, these are some things that you want to think about as you're trying to rank is that you want to clean up your page and your social media so that when people come there, they're going to want to be a part of your business. So this is your grind time for you to connect with some new people, but make sure that when they're coming to your page, that they're coming to a place that they feel welcome and that they feel that they can align themselves with you. So they want to see that you're wearing the accessories. They want to see that you love the brand. They want to see that you are maybe more positive or you are, you know, talking about content that is, you know, in line with the brand of Papa or whatever brand it is that you're trying to go with. Think like a business owner. If you were owning a jewelry store, what would you want to see from the owner? If we were going to Macy's and you knew that this was the owner of Macy's, what, what kind of things would you expect for them to be sharing on their social media page? You are now a boss. You have to think that you are now a boss in this business and this is now a business that you're proud of. And so anything that you used to maybe share on your social media you may want to kind of clean that up. You want to make sure that anything that you're sharing online is in line with your brand and that people that you are sharing the opportunity with, they're going to come there and they're going to see that they want to be a part of your team. They want to run with you in the business and that you're somebody who they can align themselves with, that they could trust that you are going to lead them the right way. All right. So another tip that you could kind of keep in mind with all of this is try to find your rock stars. You want to share as often as you can. But again, try to think of people that you genuinely think will want to do this with you and have that tough skin, all right? So if you feel like you are nervous about this, get some confidence under your under your system and just go for it. Go for those no's. It's okay if people tell you no, but again, your responsibility is to share with confidence about this beautiful business that you're a part of. Okay, so I hope that helps someone out there. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.